Hello everyone. Welcome back to EART 22101, Evolution and Paleobiology, and to this series of videos on paleoecology, or the application of ecology and ecological principles to the past, often through the study of fossils and the fossil record. So this series of videos will incorporate a range of ecological concepts, and it will use those as a framework by which we can understand ecology in the fossil record. This will, for example, allow us to explain why we can use fossils to tell us about ancient environments, and we'll also look at some of the biases we may expect um, to creep in to this um, situation when we're looking at fossils, which have been preserved in rock, as opposed to living communities. We'll touch also on the latest quanti the latif, latest quantitative techniques in paleo paleoecology. So this is kind of a, a series of researchers who are taking a big data type approach to understanding ecology in the fossil record. So I'm recording this today from a fairly bleak and overcast uh, Friday in central Manchester. Um, and this makes me introspective and it makes me think, why does this all matter? Well, let me tell you why this matters. Wasn't that a smooth seek? Um, so I think this is actually really important because we can use ecology to explain both the distribution of living taxa across the globe, but also the distribution of fossil taxa across the globe. This tells us, for example, what environment rocks were deposited in, but it also looks at how those spatial relationships have changed with time and the factors that have influenced different animal communities and ecological communities, not just animals, in deep time in the geological past. We don't get that without looking at the fossil record. Paleoecology is thus key to understanding ecosystems in the past and the life systems that were around at that time. But that, in and of itself, um, is only part of what paleoecology can give us. By taking a kind of a nuanced approach to this and looking at these questions broadly, uh, we can also look at past climates, how they have changed, but then also how the biosphere, the things that are living at any given time, have responded to those changes in climate and in earth conditions. And in a, um, in a time period, the modern day, where we are causing a series of changes to the um, uh, environment of our planet, looking to the fossil record to understand how animals, organisms more generally respond to changes in climate is a key thing that paleoecology can provide us with, some key information to help us understand the impact that we're having on ecosystems today and the likely response of those ecosystems to that forcing. For that reason, I think this is a really exciting and important topic and I hope you will find it interesting. To provide you with a quick rundown of what we're going to be looking at over the series of the next few videos, we're first going to be looking at the ecology of fossils. So this is a thing called paleoautoecology. And by, by that, what I mean is actually uh, understanding the ecology of individual species. If we look at a fossil and we understand its morphology, that can tell us something about how it lived its life. So this is very much looking at this kind of very um, granular um, thing of how an individual species at an individual point in time was fitting in to the ecosystem around it. We'll then zoom out a little bit and we will look more broadly at ecosystems in the past. So not individual taxa, but how all of these different species um, coexisted with each other. And we'll do that by looking at some important concepts such as ecological niches, environmental gradients. So these are things that are true of both ecology and of paleoecology. Um, and the only difference between those two really being the, the time periods over which we're looking. We'll have a quick touch on how fossils can indicate the environment of deposition of um, different rocks and thus how that helps us understand long term um, how animal communities have shifted through time. And we'll be finished by looking at some large scale trends in paleoecology. So this is actually looking at some really cutting edge research that's happening um, uh, across the uh, UK and in fact the world, taking a kind of 
big data approach to auto, to um, paleoecology. So understanding the ecology of the past by uh, using quantitative appro approaches. And I'll give you a really nice example of that to finish this lecture. So with that, that's my introduction done. And I will move on to uh, video number two. And I'll see you there in just a second.